Hello and welcome to this preview of tonight's game against Hull City. A massive game, the biggest game of the season you could argue because it's the next game and that's how Nuno has been looking at it since November, October, you know, all season next game has been the most important game. After the two red cards on Friday night against Middlesbrough, there will be two changes at least from this team. Now I expect uh, Ndai to come in for Neves and then the big question is the right wing back position because we've seen Matt Doherty play there in every single game apart from the League Cup games where he was rested and there are a couple of suggestions as to what could happen. We saw Ryan Bennett play in there against Manchester City. We could see Vinagre come in at left wing back and then push Douglas across to right wing back, the slightly more experienced player and probably slightly stronger on his weaker side uh, than Vinagre. We need to make sure that we've got enough force going forward as well as the cover going back as well. So if Bennett does play an, at the right wing back, we'll have to have Danny Bart or Corny Hawes coming in to play at the right of that back three. In terms of other team news, it seems as if everybody has recovered from the Middlesbrough game. Costa and Sace in particular, the way they left the field on Friday looked a little bit worrying, but hopefully they'll be fit enough to start the game tonight. Of course, there's interest in games elsewhere tonight with the Wolves. Uh, Leeds take on Fulham, and if Leeds win that game and Wolves win the game, then it means that if Wolves beat Cardiff on Friday, then they are promoted. But if Fulham do win and then they lose their game on Saturday and we win at Cardiff, it means we're promoted without playing, which I really don't want to happen. I think after all the effort that we've put in this season, you know, you want to be there at the moment where we get promoted and we want it to be in our own hands, really. We don't want other teams dropping points for it to happen. In terms of Hull tonight, I think after their you know, great point on Saturday night against Aston Villa, they'll be eager to pick up another point. I think they'll probably sit back like we saw Burton and Reading do in recent weeks and Sunderland if you go way back because it's not a point for them in this game is massive. They have got a massive game then on Saturday against QPR, which they would, of course, you know, is a six-pointer for them down the bottom of the table. They have got Abel Hernandez back, who was quite badly injured in the uh, corresponding fixture earlier on this season. Nuidico, of course, scored in this fixture earlier on in the season, but four Wolves shortly before moving to Hull. And there's a chance he could be starting to, uh, tonight as well uh, with Hernandez still coming back from his injury. Hull have been... Quite underwhelming really this season considering they were one of the stronger teams being relegated. Um, they just haven't clicked at all in the championship and they've struggled with injuries and things like that and Slutsky didn't really work as a manager and they've suffered as a consequence. I think they probably will stay up, but they've got enough. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and why not check out uh, a little preview that I did on FIFA yesterday. Bye-bye.